All right, so we're going to go ahead and let A, B, and C be sets. Now, if A is a subset of B, then I want to prove that the union of set A and C is also a subset of set B and union set C. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and write a proof for this, which is going to involve uh, knowledge of what subsets are. So we already have it for a given that set A is a subset of set B. If this is true, then this implies that if we have any element in set A, since A is a subset of B, then that element must also belong to set B. So we can say that if X belongs to A, then that implies that X also belongs to B. Now, I want to prove that the union of set A and set C is a subset of set B union set C. So we're going to start off by assuming that we have an element in the set on the left, A union C. So let's assume that that same letter X is going to be a member of the union of the two sets. So we've assumed this, and what we want to do is we want to prove that that same letter X is also a member of the set B union C. So if X is a member of A union C, then that implies that X can belong to A or X can belong to C. So that implies that X can be a member of A or X can be a member of C. It could also be a member of both, which means it would belong to the intersection of A and C. But suppose that X does belong to A. We know that if X belongs to A, I'll write it down over here. If X belongs to A, then we already know that X belongs to B. So we can say X belongs to B. Now, notice that if X belongs to B, then that same X also has to be a member of B union C. Because the union of these two sets implies that X could belong to B or C. That means that X must belong to the union of B and C. So that's only if X belongs to A. Let's see what happens if X belongs to C. If X belongs to C, what can we say about that? Well, we know that if X belongs to set C, we can say that X belongs to the union of B and C since X belongs to the C over here. So that implies that X is a member of B union C. So notice, no matter which option that we choose, we get to the same conclusion. X belongs to the union of the two sets. Now in either case, X belongs to the union of the two sets, so we can say that if X belongs to A union C, then it is also true that X belongs to B union C. So we've proven what we wanted to prove, and that is that A union C is a subset of B union C. And that's it. That's our proof.